they ain't know what you got them. They ain't know what you got them. Are you striving for financial growth but feel limited by your current income? Tired of long commutes that steal precious family time? Concerned about rising bills? You're in the right place. The highest paid.online's Black Friday sale offers a 25% discount on our VIP program with code NOVEMBER25. This program includes over 45 content classes, bi-monthly live broadcasts, four hours of personal consultation, three hours of mindset counseling, and an exclusive Discord community. Though valued at $25,000 annually, it's yours for a fraction. You'll get it for much less. Plus, receive our bonus PDF. Don't make the biggest investing mistake of your lifetime. We've partnered with a firm and Afterpay for flexible payment options. Visit highestpaid.online and elevate your financial journey with our VIP program. The economic climate is shifting. Ensure you're prepared. Act now. Hi guys, welcome to The Real Dana, AKA Dana with the data. So I just wanna say, Chicago, stand up. I'm gonna play this clip and then I want to unpack it. This morning I heard Mayor Brandon Johnson say that the sentiment in the black community is waning. A lot. What? The sentiment is not waning. We are not okay with you taking our resources and giving them to people who don't live here. As Mark stated before, you are preparing housing for them. One of the reasons that the city of Chicago was able to close 50 schools was because of the black light. And the reason we had a black light was because there is no affordable housing in this city. It is because the city of Chicago shut down the voucher system so that blacks who needed to get affordable housing could not. So they had no choice but to flee to other states. But now you found money for the migrants. That's right. We're calling foul. And then another thing you said was that the faith-based leaders oh, were helping to bring around the sentiment. We haven't paid attention to faith-based leaders since Dr. Martin Luther King. And guess what? We're not listening to them now. We understand that they are bought and paid for. We understand that you control the narrative that they are trying to speak about. So let me just say this to you. We're not listening to them the same way we're not listening to you. What you're doing is not okay. And let me just say this other thing. Amundsen Park is still closed, and our mayor has decided that because we didn't support migrants coming to our park, we just ain't going to have a park. I call foul, Mayor. You love to stand around and talk about how you are a black man. That's all you are is a black man. And we know that all black folks ain't skin folks. And those of us who didn't know that, you're giving us a great lesson. So we thank you for that. No, the sentiment has not changed. We are still for black people. We are still for this city supporting us. We are still for black people getting the same set aside that these migrants are getting. Oh, excuse me, not migrants, because what they are is illegal foreign nationals. They are not migrants. They are not coming here illegally. So just because you put lipstick on a pig, it's still going to be a pig. Yes. So we are not backing down. We were quiet for a minute. I know you thought that the sentiment has changed. It has not. And like I tried to remind people, not only did I support Brandon Johnson, not only did I campaign for Brandon Johnson, not only did I give him my money, but I want you to know two things. Number one, I'm not a fan. I have biased remorse. Number two, for any independent candidate in the city of Chicago, any Green Party candidate in the city of Chicago, and any Republican candidate in the city of Chicago, now is your time because we are done with the Democratic That's Party. Right. Brandon right. Johnson, John. Governor Prisca, and President John. Biden have shown John. us what they think about the black community all over this country. And so we're standing here today to say, okay, if that's what it is, we win it. We don't have to support the Democratic Party.
party. Right, right. We don't have to continue to sort, support people right. who are not going to support us. And the Democratic Party here in this city, in this state, and in this country is not supporting us. You got the Republicans on one side and the Democrats on the other side. Guess what? They're part of the same bird. That's right. For two weeks. So it doesn't right. matter anymore which party we go with. But I'll tell you this, I'd rather deal with the snake that's outfitting that's himself of the Republican Party than the snake that's covered up in the Democratic Party. That's right. We're not going to continue to stand for this. That's We're not going to continue to allow that's our right. state representatives, our congressmen, our aldermen, and our mayor yes. to let us know yes. that we don't matter. Yes. Just like you're going to show us that we're going to matter, we're going to show you. All it's right. going to be a great day in the city of Chicago when a Democratic convention comes here yes. and then That's they right. found out in March that a lot of black voters took Republican ballots. Right. All right. Let's unpack this. She said a lot. And I want to um, say thank you. Thank you, black woman, you know, for so eloquently expressing the facts now let's break down the facts because she started off by saying the black flight yes there has been a very large black flight um, of black people leaving chicago because they just can't afford it now i reported in my last video with the chicago my illegal uh, migrants in chicago that the state governor has allocated $160 million to Chicago for the illegal migrants to house them, to feed them, and to give them health care. But they have never done that for Black residents in Chicago who needed the most. What they did do, like the lady said, they stopped the affordable housing voucher program. Now, 32% of Chicago residents are Hispanic, 36.1% white, 28.5% are black. The black residents of Chicago, the black population of Chicago has lost 17% since 2010. That's a lot in a decade. A little over a decade. That's a lot. And it continues to lose the black population. If we are losing more black people in the city of Chicago, that means we are losing our political power. However, however, we need to encourage people to stay. We need to encourage people to fight. And we're going to have to start aligning ourselves with the Hispanics and the white population of Chicago under this illegal migrant crisis. Now, she also mentioned religion to churches. Yes, the faith base. These black churches in Chicago have never sheltered black pregnant women, black single mothers, black men and black young black males and black boys who are coming out of prison, coming out of group homes. They never issued any type of social services or resources to its own people but they are they are lining up to lend a hand to the illegal migrants you're doing something for people who are non-citizens that you did not do for your own congregation i want to go back a little bit I want to go back under President Bush in 2010, because on December the 12th, not 2010, on December the 12th, 2002, President Bush issued an executive order that called for equal opportunity for an equal treatment of faith based and other community organizations in social service funding by the federal government. What does that mean? That means that your local churches and faith-based organizations are receiving money from the federal government. And when you take money from the federal government, that means you have to adhere to the federal government demands. That means you are putting the federal government before your people. That is a problem because you have this administration 
giving faith based organizations and churches money to house and allocate resources to the illegal migrants. So our local churches are compromised and choosing the government over its people. And, and, and it's the people, it's your congregation that tied to keep your doors open. Let's move on to the snakes. Thurgood Marshall, famous quote by Thurgood Marshall, Judge Joe Brown told me this, a black snake will bite you just as quick as a white snake will. And that is true. Black people, we need to stop voting because someone looks like us. Because that don't mean that they're for us. And she actually said in this video, she has buyer's remorse. She supported him. But I would love to know her reasons why her and others supported Brandon Johnson. But the number one reason why it is because he's black. We need to stop. We black Americans, we need to stop voting because someone looks like us. Because they're not for us. Retribution. Emerson Park. I actually did a video on this a month ago about how the city of Chicago, the, the city of Chicago administration, city hall, wanted to set up a migrant camp in Emerson Park. That is in a black community, I believe, on the west side. The residents in that community filed a lawsuit against the city of Chicago. Now, the judge overturned it well, throughout the lawsuit because they said you cannot sue because the city never issued plans, their plans yet, to put a migrant camp there. Once the city submit their plans officially to put a migrant camp at the park, then you could come back and sue the city. Well, there's no migrant camp at that park because of the pushback from the residents. However, this mayor decided to keep the park closed. So that means all of the after school children's weekend um, sports and programs are still being um, allocated to other parks on the other side of town. The senior citizens do not have a park to go to, to walk or to exercise. You can't take your children to the park to play because he's upset that the black residents chose to exercise their constitutional right to sue his administration for placing illegal migrants in their community using their tax dollars. She also said it's basically open season for all other political parties to come into Chicago and get the black vote. Why not? Robert F. Kennedy Jr., this is a perfect opportunity for you to do a pop-up visit, do a town hall in Chicago and talk to the people, not just the black people, but go to the to the Asians, go to the Hispanics, go to the white neighborhoods because everybody in Chicago is fed up with this illegal migrant crisis. Donald Trump, Cornel West, if you guys remember, when Donald Trump was president, he wanted to send the National Guards in Chicago. He called it a shithole. Technically, it was. As far as the crime, maybe if you would have allowed him to come in and do something about it, right? You would have saw a decrease in crime and probably an increase in economic mobility. Is it too late? I hope not. However, Cornell West, Donald Trump, Robert F. Kennedy Jr., and any other independent um, person running for president or want to run for mayor, this is your time to go into Chicago and get that support. Get those votes, especially from the Black people of Chicago. Now, I am going to ride on this mayor ass. I'm going to ride on Chicago and the state of Illinois. And I can't wait for that 2024 Democrat convention to come to Chicago. And I just might take a trip to Chicago to join the people of Chicago because they're going to turn that convention upside down. But I say all that to say, I am glad to see the black people, number one, of Chicago 
waking up, standing up and fighting back. That is what we need. I also want to give credit to the grassroots media, such as myself and every other content creator on YouTube and on X, formerly known as Twitter, because this is where I got this TikTok video from, from X. And we have to keep pushing out the videos, the stories, you know, um, the interviews, the town hall meetings that the people of Chicago are doing because the national mainstream media is not shining a light on Chicago. They want to suppress all of the illegal migrant crisis, um, you know, debacle that is going on because it's bad for the Biden administration. But it's up to us to keep pushing this content out there and get it in our algorithm so that people can know what is going on. So thank you to Nas. The, this is the person that I found this video um, on X. Thank you to him and others to continue to talk about it because I'm going to keep talking about it. It is a problem and I'm glad black people are finally waking up. We need to not only ride on the, the mayor of Chicago as, but ride on Mayor Eric Adams and any other local, state, and federal politician who are ignoring us. It is our time to wake up and fight back and demand what is ours. And I want to say thank you guys for tuning in to this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Real Dana. Hit the bell button to get all notifications. Share this video. Like this video. Go to my website, therealdanaNetwork.com and subscribe so you can see Judge Joe Brown after dark. Um, this is really a beginning of a new era. A new era of black media. A new era of grassroots media. Of grassroots organizing so again thank you guys for tuning in and i will see you in the next video bye dana with your dad dana with the data